Hi, my name is Jacob. I'm with Dig Easy Compost, and I'm the uh, field operations manager. I Meaning, I'm the guy that's doing the composting and processing it, and uh, turning it into a finished product. Um, with Dig Easy Compost, we offer community compost drop-off, and we also do an educational side where we teach kids and go to schools and do a, a hands-on curriculum for a lot of them to see the process of compost and how uh, food scraps actually turn into soil that can then be used for all kinds of things. And here we're at the St. John Faubourg Neighborhood Garden. It's quite a mouthful. Um, but yeah, we have, uh, we have some rows with all the uh, uh, plants. And then we have our compost section here. And then um, we also have a, a compost drop-off area outside. I'm Catherine Legasse. I'm a founding member of Dig Easy Compost. My current position is a community coordinator, which means that I help organize uh, benefits and fundraisers where we get local artists and vendors together to celebrate compost and community. And also I try to get people involved on social media so that you might be able to come participate at the garden with us in Bayou St. John. Hi, I'm Billy from Recirculating Farms and we're here with Dig Easy at their gardening site as part of our composting education and workshops videos. Um, so at Recirculating Farms we have a main grow space in Central City where we host workshops and community events. Recirculating Farms also does a lot of policy work locally and nationally behind the scenes um, for uh, urban farming, food access, and recirculating farms, aquaponics, hydroponics. So with the help of microorganisms, it is the breakdown of organic material over time until it is reduced to its simplest form, also known as humus. Um, it is very nutrient dense and it maintains all those nutrients from the original products that you put in it. So the banana peel that you throw in there, the nutrients from that banana peel is still in that pile. Um, so potassium, nitrogen, carbon, all that stuff. Um, it can happen naturally, like in a forest, or a human can accelerate it by turning it and doing all the tips that we're going to share with you in this video. Now imagine you're a scientist and you're trying to transform food into soil. We do this using the magic of digestion. Now the compost is a lot like your guts. It's churning, there's food in it, and it's releasing a lot of gases. And your guts even share a lot of the same microbiome as the compost. And just like your guts, you need the right ingredients to trigger heat, digestion, and thus the breakdown of food. Now to trigger digestion and heat, you'll need the right ratio of carbons and nitrogens. So your carbon is basically gonna be everything living. So carbons include uh, tree, tree ingredients, woods, mulch, ash, um, leaf litter, and nitrogen is all the food scraps and yard trimmings that you have. And nitrogen has a higher concentration in it, and so generally you'll need less nitrogen versus carbon ratio. So a good example for the nitrogen carbon ratio is this bag of rabbit manure and mulch. And rabbit manure is your source of nitrogen. Mulch is your source of carbon. And this is going to be a really, it's even warm. You're going to need, it's going to be a really good ingredient in 